Guys, I need help with this video. I need you to help all the people in Florida. This is how pasta is made in Florida. Are you ready to watch this Facebook video? I'm not. All right, that it's frozen prawns, shrimps. What about fresh? You don't like fresh shrimps? Now I've got my crab legs. What's that? Crab legs. Okay, never seen that before. Just gonna get these. Oops. Wow, they're like thick to cut through there. I'm just gonna get these all cut up. And How is she cutting it with the packet? Can you take it out and use a chopping board? If she's got plastic in the food. Disgusting. Disgusting. Plastic has been on the shelves. You don't know where they've been. The smaller pieces. Now this is. She's actually cutting the plastic with the food. I don't believe Florida does this. I don't believe this is done in Florida. Probably this lady is not even from Florida. Real um, crab legs. This is imitation crab meat. Yeah, why would you want that? Why do you want imitation crab meat? So I'm coming in with my garlic. Just... She's using garlic? Olive oil garlic? So she's using garlic? So everything is like frozen. Now garlic in a jar. Is there anything fresh in this dish? It would be funny if, if she uses fresh pasta. <laughs> mm, I think that's good. Can't believe it. I've got some diced red onions. I don't think Florida does this. I don't believe she learned this in Florida. Please do not say that. People in Florida, write a comment now. Let me know. Is this how you do pasta? Because this is bad. First, that casserole is a no-no for pasta. No pasta deserves to go in an alfoil casserole. No, first, but this is just ugly to watch. Now I've got some more crab. More crab, what is that? Here, packaged crab. These oh, this time she got it right. Oh, again, goes in there. Yeah, let's put the plastic in the pa in there, yeah. They're a little bit different texture. Oh, it's all about the texture now, not the color anymore. Just like that. Yeah, that's not frozen. That should be fresh. I got one more package. Oh yeah, why not? We have two of the same kind, so I just got whatever kind I could get. You can use real crab if you want. I just think it's easier to use the imitation crab. It's called the imitation crab. Yeah, it's easier, yeah. Well, don't, we don't need to enjoy the real flavors of crab. Let's just get the fake ones. I don't believe Florida deserves this. I think this is this is a very bad for Florida reputation. And I just find that most people can't tell the difference anyway. Really? What people? There we go. That looks awesome. Just like that. Okay. This looks awesome to you? Now I've got this. Let me just get this. Something fresh. She's got fresh mozzarella. <laughs> mozzarella with crabs, with prawns. Can you believe it, guys? Can you believe it? Sorry, it's just a little, little slippery with the crab hands. Okay. I can't believe I'm watching this. She's using mozzarella with crabs and... Why are you covering the flavor? Anyway, both flavors, I guess. They don't have flavors. There we go. Oh, the mozzarella is already... Oh, I've never seen this before. It's already cut into bowls, okay. Perfect. That is my mozzarella ball, and it's in these... So mozzarella like that, it's like actually a very good idea. Smaller balls. I'm just gonna break this up, spread this all throughout here. Let me see the type of packaging. It's a very good idea to have a packaging like that, with just more mozzarella. I guess they are dry mozzarella, because the fresh mozzarella needs to be in the water. I actually get mozzarella all the way from Naples. It comes to Australia where I live, it comes frozen and you let it defrost two days in the fridge and it's beautiful. You know, it's just actually the amazing mozzarella. Now I got a box of barilla. Oh, barilla. Oh, look at, look how orange that pasta is. Look how orange. What is that? Ow, oh, orange this pasta is. I've been in situations where I had to buy barilla because I had no other options. You know, I live in rural Australia. I live in, you know, no, I don't live in the city anymore. And sometimes I have to use Barilla because that's what I can get. But if you push yourself a little bit more and go the extra mile, you can find their shop who sell better pastas. This pasta is orange. 
It's more orange than the crab. Throw up pasta. Just for standard spaghetti. I'm just gonna even this up just like that. What are you doing? You're not boiling a spaghetti? What is that? Why are you breaking the spaghetti? What, what, what's the point? Why don't you use a short pasta? If you want to do a baked pasta, use a short pasta. Mm. What's in your brain? Use a short pasta if you want to do a bake. You don't need to break spaghetti. What if I break you enough? And just like that. Okay, that looks really good. Yeah. Who said that? I need to read the comments on this video. Seriously, let me read some comments on this video. Let's, let's, let's see what they're like, because what would you add to this? What's your favorite way to cook seafood? At this point, I watch to laugh. This woman can cook. Oh, thank God, Crystal. Christine, it's too watery. Oh, is that the worry for you? Okay. Linda, shrimp will be like rubber. No way you learn this in Florida. Well done, Linda. Proud Florida woman. Ever since I saw how imitation crab meat was made, you tube it. I know it is supposed to be easy meal, but made Alfredo sauce is pretty easy and so much better. Okay, well, definitely I prefer Alfredo over this. And we make our own Alfredo sauce from scratch. Why don't you make Vincenzo's plate sauce? Just Google on YouTube, Vincenzo's sauce. You will love it. A lot easier than Alfredo. If you're using pre-cooked shrimp, you better take cooking lessons. <laughs> That's enough. I'm glad I'm reading these comments. Oh, I'm not the only one. I'm just gonna say sorry to all the people in Florida. I'm sorry for you guys that she actually mentioned your name. What is that now? What is that, Ragu? What is that? She can't even open it. What is that? That means you don't need to open it. Don't open it. Don't, don't, don't push too hard to open it. No. No, no. That means the sauce doesn't want to go in. Oh no, it's an Alfredo sauce. Oh, looks like mayonnaise to me. Oh, that's mayonnaise. It's so easy to make Alfredo sauce. It's just Parmigiano Reggiano and butter. That doesn't look like butter or Parmigiano Reggiano to me. That looks like mayonnaise. Ma che beautiful. Ma che beautiful. Ma che beautiful and beautiful. Have you ever seen something beautiful? Ew, that is f***ing disgusting, dude. I can't believe I'm watching. I can't believe you guys are watching this with me. To everyone in Florida, guys. I'm gonna come and see you and enjoy your beautiful food because this is not your food. And look what she's doing. She's about to break the jar. This is, this is terrible. Oh my gosh, she's putting water in there too. Ah, uh, that's why people are saying it's watery. I can't believe she's doing that. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Is this what people like to eat in America? Is this what you guys really enjoy to eat? Look how much water she's putting in there. Look at that. What a disaster. What is this creation? What is, what are you supposed to, what are you, what, what's your creation behind this? What's your... Where did you get the inspiration from? I didn't understand. How do you think of something so bad? She used about five jars of this Alfredo sauce, which is not even Alfredo, because it's mayonnaise. There's, there's no Parmigiano Reggiano in there, and there is no butter. Maybe they use margarine, which is very bad for you too. I don't understand. I'm so sorry, guys, I let you watch this with me. I am so, so sorry. Nobody deserves to watch this. Parmesan cheese, they must be from Wisconsin. There's no Parmigiano Reggiano. I know people call it Parmesan cheese because it's easier and um, it's easy to say parmigiano, but parmigiano is parmigiano, okay? I know in my videos I called par parmigiano parmesan to make it easy for non Italian speakers, um, but it's, it's, it's about time for everyone to understand the difference between parmigiano and parmesan, okay? Even though I call parmesan cheese, I don't, I don't mention this, I don't talk about this parmesan cheese. Well, I always talk about parmigiano, okay? This parmesan cheese, it's, it's yellow and it's not parmigiano, okay? It's yellow. Mm -hmm. and, and it's not meant to be, be, be like that. Parmigiano Reggiano should be grated. Because I want all this to be crusted in cheese on top. Make Parmesan, got a little 
Look how careful she is. Ooh. Centered. There we go. I can't watch this anymore, guys. I'm so sorry, but I need to stop it now, I think. This is gonna be a delicious seafood. She's convinced. She, she says she learned this in Florida. I mean, who in Florida would make this? I'm pretty sure Florida has amazing dishes. Plus, you have a beautiful South American culture there. You know, you got my beautiful Cuban friends live there. They, they, the food must be amazing in Florida. Come on. Can't be like this. It's so decadent. This is a rich, fancy. Where is this lady from? What's her accent? Where is she from? Because maybe she doesn't like Florida. Splurge meal for you and your family or whoever, you and your friends, you and your loved one. And the nice thing about this is you could totally save leftovers if you have some. Just convince, just convince people will eat this again. Once I come to your house for dinner, I will never come back. We're gonna put this whole thing into the oven. I'm gonna put it in at 375 for 30 minutes. And we'll 30 minutes, so you wanna, you want to, absorb, evaporate all that water in 30 minutes? No way. Okay, oh my gosh, you're showing a face now. How can you put your face in this video? How do you do that? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Alfredo is ready. Look at this beautiful cheese. How can that be beautiful? It's, the cheese is burned. The pasta is probably not cooked. Crust on top. Everything is cooked perfectly in there. We checked on the noodles. She's convinced. All right, now we've got just some dried chives. Oh, of course. Not, there's nothing fresh in this, in this video. The only fresh thing was the Alfredo uh, label that says using fresh cheese. Mm -hmm. Dig right in here and see how this is done. Oh, the most disgusting part of the video. Oh, terrible. Okay, wow. Oh, look how water it is. Look at that water. So much water. The most disgusting thing I've ever seen. Look at this terrible, this moment is. This moment is hurting me. I will never show this to my nonna. Never, 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 never. No flavors, no culture. And do not tell me this is how she makes it. It tastes good. This is terrible. Nobody deserves this. This is terrible. This is terrible for the kids, for the younger generations. This video needs to be banned. Facebook, remove this video, please. Nobody needs to watch it. Remove it now. We don't need to watch it. Please, 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 Facebook. Oh! Ew! Dude! What the f- Don't tell me you like it. What do you think? That is really good. Seafood Alfredo, so everybody. Good. These people have never left their home. These people have never traveled the world. These people have never eaten very well. Like the lady on Food Network who does the country style, you know, the, the country style lady who does terrible food. And these people are famous on social media. I have no idea how. I need to understand it. I need to understand who watches you, who likes you, because you guys need help. You really need help if that's the food that you like. Guys, I'm not gonna have lunch anymore today. I'm really feeling sick, so I'm gonna go. Thank you for watching this video with me. Please teach your family, your friends, your kids to stay away from these dishes, okay? Teach them the right thing. Eat well. I've got amazing recipes on my channel, on my blog, soon on my book. Please share these recipes with the people that you love, okay? But not this disgusting uh, creation. Oh, please. Thank you, guys. I will see you on the next Vincenzo's Plate recipe. Avoid the reaction videos because if you're not prepared, they can make you sick. So I'll see you in the next recipe. E ora si mangia. Vincenzo's plate. And please, try my Vincenzo sauce. I promise you, it's better than Alfredo sauce. Ciao.